More than 25 years ago, Walking with Dinosaurs stomped its way into our hearts and became one of the most iconic dinosaur documentaries of all time. And now, the groundbreaking series is back. The BBC, in partnership with PBS, ZDF, and France Televisions, is bringing us a brand new six-part series that will reimagine this beloved classic and take us deeper into the world of dinosaurs than ever before. This isn't just a remake. It's a complete evolution of the original. Each episode of the new Walking with Dinosaurs will focus on the life of an individual dinosaur whose fossil remains are being uncovered by the world's top paleontologists. Cutting-edge science and state-of-the-art visual effects will bring these prehistoric giants to life in ways we've never seen before. As the bones emerge from the ground, so do the incredible stories of how these creatures lived, hunted, fought, and even died. This isn't just a documentary. It's dinosaur drama at its finest. To give us a taste of what's to come, PBS and the BBC have released stunning first-look images of two iconic dinosaurs featured in the series, Albertosaurus and Pecorinosaurus. Let's dive into what we know so far. Albertosaurus, a smaller but equally deadly relative of Tyrannosaurus rex, is one of the stars of the new series. Young Albertosaurus were lightning-fast hunters, capable of reaching speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, the fastest animal featured in the show. And here's a fascinating fact. Paleontologists believe these predators hunted in packs, using teamwork to take down their prey before devouring them with their large, razor-sharp teeth. But it's not just speed and teeth that make Albertosaurus remarkable. Look closely, and you'll notice something new. Fur-like feathers. That's right. Fossil evidence from related species suggests many dinosaurs, including Albertosaurus, had feathers. This detail not only makes the new series more accurate, but also brings these prehistoric predators to life like never before. Next, we have Pachyrinosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur closely related to Triceratops. This gentle giant's most striking feature is the thick keratin-covered bone over its nose, known as a boss, which males likely used in combat. But what makes the show's Pacarinosaurus lacustae truly unique is its singular horn, informally called the unicorn horn. This species lived 73 million years ago, traveling in massive herds of up to 40,000 dinosaurs over hundreds of miles in search of food and nesting grounds, much like caribou today. This new series isn't just about amazing visuals and dramatic stories. It's about bringing the latest science to life. With groundbreaking discoveries and expert insights, Walking with Dinosaurs will show us these prehistoric creatures as they've never been seen before. From hunting strategies to migration patterns, this series connects ancient behaviors to the lives of animals today. Behind this epic production is a powerhouse team. The six-part series is a collaboration between BBC Studios, PBS, ZDF, and France Television. The show's creators are pushing the boundaries of visual effects and storytelling, making Walking with Dinosaurs a must-watch event for dinosaur lovers of all ages. Thanks for watching. If you're as excited as I am about this series, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more prehistoric updates and dinosaur adventures. I'll see you in the next video.